Somewhere behind me is supposed to be a forgotten mining cemetery. Let's see if we can find any evidence and explore some history. So somewhere in here, it's supposed to be an old mining cemetery that belonged to a town called Redding, which was an old mining town. The town does not exist anymore, and apparently the cemetery, what I can tell so far, it's not existing. But we're gonna go in here and see if we can find any traces, any evidence that there was a cemetery at one point. So let's see what we can find out. As far as I can tell, all this seems to be overgrown. It doesn't seem like that there is a uh, cemetery here. Well, hold up. I got one, two, three, four, five depressions in the ground. And there it is, a headstone. So we're definitely in the right place. So let's go check it out, explore some history. William Hill, July 31st, 1801 to November 2nd, 1838. My understanding is <clears throat> that there's not much information on the internet that there were supposed to be over 700 people buried here. Right now, all I see is two headstones out of what, 700 people, 700 plus people? So let's check out this headstone down there. Callaway McCord, born March 5th, 1894, and died in June 7th, 1917. But I don't see any more headstones. Well, spoke too soon. There's headstone number three. I barely can see it through all these bushes over there. But let's go over there and check it out. This one looks like a uh, military, military um, headstone. James Billingsley, Alabama, private, 157, Depot, May 25th, 1940. Okay, this is the, uh, this is one of the latest. So this cemetery was still in operation back in 1940. I see another one over there. <laughs> this is definitely, we're definitely in the right place. Yeah, I don't know if this is poison ivy or not, but I'm gonna touch it. You would think I know, but hey, what can I say, I'm from Germany. Sam, see something about Sam, Boar. I really can't make anything out and I'm not gonna touch it. But so far, this is the only, the only grave I have found that still has that, what do you call this? A guard around it, I guess, that's what you call it. Remember, I'm from Germany, so some things, I don't know how to call. I wonder if um, any of the families are still alive that had their grandparents buried here. Had to be grandparents. I wish there was any way I could find out more about these individuals that we have identified so far. Just to kind of get a glimpse of who they are. Um, let's see what we got here. This is James Brooks, Company L, 3rd Alabama Infantry, Spanish-American War. Okay, there's definitely some history right here. Another thing I was able to find out on the internet was is that this cemetery was called Mount Olive Cemetery. 
I believe that there's a church close by, or used to be, a Baptist church called Mount Olive. Um, anyway, if you're able to find something out, leave me a comment below. Well, here we got two more headstones. Ouch. Yeah, well, there was that. Wow. This one belongs to Joe Jackson, born February 29th, 1895, and died March 23rd. I can't make out when he died. And then over here, we got another one. Violet Walker, March 10th. Well, he's 185 and died on November 10th, 1916. I've been here now for a few hours, and so far I have gone back as much as I was able to. This place is definitely forgotten. I can't tell you this enough. It's overgrown. Obviously, we got two two roads here next to each other. If you drive by, you would never think, you would never think that this is a cemetery, a forgotten mining cemetery with so much history in here. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and I have gone as, as far back as I could. I don't see any more headstones back here. So we're gonna start heading back. I'm gonna go back a different route just in case we're gonna find one or two more headstones but out of 740, we got what? Seven, six, seven, maybe eight headstones. This is definitely forgotten history right here. I encourage anybody who's watching this, anybody that loves, that loves history, I encourage you, see what you can dig up. See what you can find out about these people that we have identified so far that are right here at the Mount Olive Cemetery. Let's start heading back. Well, and here's another one. Close to the entrance. And there's another one. And this is another L uh, military headstone. This one belongs to Ernest Moore, Alabama, Wagoneer, 366 Infantry, March 20, 1920, Ernest Moore. And then up there is another one. Let's go check that one out. Well, Mr. Henry Edwards, Alabama, Wagoneer, 366 Infantry, 92nd Division, January 10th, 1935. This is all I was able to find here. I hope you were able to see that it is very overgrown here. Very few headstones, but it's obvious that at one point this was a big cemetery. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you show me some support, like it, leave me a comment, especially if you were able to dig something up about this historic place. Until next time, when we explore history,